Hello, my name is Margarita, for those who don't know me, and for those who do, welcome back to my channel, my loves. I am here in Sydney, Australia, in my house, obviously. For those who know that, they will know this little corner of my house with the best lighting. And I wanted to just share with you my latest shoe collection. I've done a shoe collection on this channel before. You guys loved it. So that was almost two years ago. I just was unpacking my suitcase and I was pulling some shoes out and I thought why not just show you some of the shoes that I've acquired recently. If you guys want to know this dress is by Ralph Lauren and I will link a post down below and I'll show you all the clothes that I wore on my recent trip to Greece and this dress is in there. It's got this beautiful cute detail. What is that? That is not a cute detail, is it? Perfect. It's got all these cute details and it's very Dolce Vita, very summer, and I'm wearing a white bralette from Cotton On Body underneath. So without further ado, let me show you the designer shoes that I've been loving in 2018. The first shoe is a bit of a stunner. It's a bit of a killer. It's a bit out there and it is this cage design style. It goes all the way up until the knee and it is by Jimmy Choo London. I wore this boot, would you call it a boot even though it's all cut out there with the zip on the back? I wore this in fashion week about a year ago and I was in the paper with this boot and they said I was worse dressed and I was like... <laughs> No, I wasn't. I was looking amazing. What do you mean? The look was a bit out there. I wore these boots with a beautiful mermaid dress and I just love that look. And uh, if I love it, that means um, I'm wearing it. The next shoe that I've been loving is so fun and so summery. It is this flamingo shoe by Sophie Webster. This is a flamingo on the side here, as you can see, and this is the flamingo butt, and this is the flamingo leg. So when you're standing, you've got this flamingo on the side. I really love these kind of whimsical, things um, growing up I've always loved anime and I love Totoro and I love all these things and so when it's girly and kind of kitsch I've got a soft spot for it and this is just very flamenco very summery and look how it looks from the back it just gives any dress a really beautiful punch of color and the best part I love about this shoe is because it's black on the front you can really spice up a black dress in the summer with these babies or I love to clash pink with red at the moment it's very Dior. These Hermes flats the orange sandals are very 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 popular they're a little staple if you're on the Riviera if you're cruising on your boat you're wearing these well you're not wearing them because boat etiquette is no shoes but you know what I mean um, these are very 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 just sought after and uh, to be honest I did not love this shoe when I first got it simply because I have um, I don't know oddly shaped feet no they're not oddly shaped it's just like um they're sensitive and so when my foot goes in there obviously the bone of the thumb uh, thumb wow the bone of the toe goes right in there and sometimes it creates a bit of blisters but and this is the silver lining on these if you wear them in they feel like a second skin on your foot so if you're the type of person who can really take your time and really wear the shoe in then I would recommend these shoes they're beautiful they're so summery they're effortless and they update and upgrade any look I love them these are in the color tan I'd want them in black I'd want them in all colors I love them when I went to the UK I had a little wedge moment and I went to Sushi Samba and I saw this girl wearing these um, wedge sandals that I'd seen in store a few days previously and they were by Kirk Geiger and they are these beautiful rope style sandals and I thought they were just so stunning um, for summer as you can see they're all gold and ropey the only downfall is that they are heavy I'm planning on maybe wearing them in when I'm at home or something because I'm scared that if I wear them for too long outside it might hurt my foot but I adore this look it's so Grecian goddess and the second shoe I got in Kurt Geiger at the same time actually this was a gift from my mum this is from Carvela Kurt Geiger is this shoe here and it's again a platform wedge and I love them because I like to be tall and Amazonian it just makes me feel happy 
uh, I saw the sales assistant wearing these as she was running around going to get more stock and more shoes to try on. So if you're worried about a comfortable wedge, this one would not worry you. This is a good one to buy. It's very, very summer. Look at that and I love the gray detail and the beads there. So that's a winner. Another winner and super comfortable shoe that I've been loving that I never thought I would love is this Ralph Lauren purple label little Cinderella sandal. If you saw my shopping blog with my mum from London in Ralph Lauren, you would have seen these. I never thought that I would get a heel this low because I really love a tall high heel, but I absolutely love it. You feel like a little sprightly fairy who can run around and just take on the world. And then this beautiful Sleeping Beauty pale blue color. I adore this shoe. It is like so comfortable and so easy to wear, but you still feel princessy and ready to go. I was gonna end on these, but I'm gonna show you to them. Show you to them. They're like people. I'm gonna show you to them now. These are the Magnolo Blahnik Hungeezies, and they are so stunning. This one is a material, and this one is a satin. Uh, they're both in size 39 and a half, and I just went up a size. Um, half size, because I found it more comfortable, but this is a shoe. This is like... I don't know, the George Clooney of shoes. I absolutely adore them. They make me feel so glamorous. Today I wore this shoe with this outfit to a baby shower. It was my first baby shower actually. Wow, <laughs> I don't know. I've never been to a baby shower. I am so not in the baby scene, but anyway, it was fabulous. And these are so beautiful. Look at that iconic detail on the front. I can't think of a prettier shoe. Manolo Blahnik, when you made these, you made perfection. The most comfortable and by far most worn shoe that I've had this year has been this Rockstar by Valentino. I love it. I love it. It's so rock and roll. It's so cool. It just suits me down to a T. I don't wear this color much because I made a mistake and got it in size 39. This one is a 39 and a half and it makes all the difference for some reason. I think because the point is quite pointy, this color goes with everything. As you can see, I could have worn it today. It's absolutely stunning, stunning, stunning. So much to the point that I feel like if I wear it anymore, you might just as well rename me and call me Valentino. The last, but definitely not least, is the Stuart Westman Highlander boot with these strings on the back. This is a killer rock and roll, beautiful. It just reminds me of the British countryside. Maybe it's because I'm British and I absolutely love this boot. It's so, so, so Kate Moss to me and I adore it. I've styled it with everything and I can't wait to wear it when the weather is colder again. Although we're going to summer in Australia, so you're gonna to have to wait. I would never give up these boots. I want them in gray, I want them in every color. They just really complete an outfit and really juice it up and rock and roll it up. So guys, I have shown you the shoes that I've been loving and rocking, the designer shoes anyway, for 2018. It was just my birthday in September, so I will be acquiring new things hopefully and showing them to you, sharing them with you. I will link all the shoes down below and I'll probably do a blog post about them too and I'll show you how I've styled them. If you guys are interested, please let me know. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe because it really encourages me to keep talking to you and doing this. You know what it's like if you're calling someone and they're like never responding, you're like, <laughs> okay. All those of you who already are subscribed and do, let me tell you something. I'm not somebody who makes YouTube videos to acquire more subscribers. I'm the one who makes YouTube videos to converse with the people that I already do converse with. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe so I know who you are, so I know that we're here together doing this thing and it will make me really happy. And until then, and until next time, which will be Thursday, I love you lots like jelly tots.